this is my Raspberry Pi music box. As you can see, it's a wooden box with various buttons and dials on it, and it's been designed as a musical instrument. So when it's turned on, it plays through internal speakers that I've put on um, various synthesized sounds. So I'll turn it on, you can see it boot up. When it's ready, it'll play a sound and an LED at the bottom will come on. This doesn't take very long. There you go, all ready. A little bit, little bit of a sound to tell you it's ready. It's been designed for my hand, so put your, think, put your hand on it and you've got seven buttons giving you a almost a full octave. You've got three dials. One is for volume. You have to set that all the way up or open the case a little bit. I need to drill some holes to let the speaker sounds come out. You've got another one here that changes the instrument. So as I play, It's threaded so I can play chords. And this last knob controls the tone that you can hear. So I'll move you up and down the scale um, as you turn that knob. There are two buttons on the back. One is for rebooting the Pi and one is for shutting the Pi down. I might change that round because it seems odd to have a red button which reboots the Pi. Um, so I'm going to turn it off now so I can show you the inside. Just press that and there you go, it's finished because the LED's gone out. Which means I can now safely turn it off. Inside is of course a Raspberry Pi. It's the Raspberry Pi 2. Um, I think I might get change it to a Raspberry Pi 3 because the sound I've heard is quality is better in a Pi 3. Um, but then again it uses more power so it's a trade-off. Um, on top is an Adafruit prototype proto Pi hat board um, with an MCP 3008 which is using three channels for the three potentiometers on top and everything else is wired into it um, including all the LEDs for the, for the buttons um, and all the inputs for the buttons um, it's got a buzzer because I rather naively th um, thought when I originally did it that I could make the buzzer be a musical instrument and it just wasn't going to work like that you got a power cable here you've got two small speakers from Adafruit I actually got all of this, all of the kit through Maycursify, which is a UK store, which is the same place as the Pi Hut. Um, can't recommend them enough. Um, they are incredibly quick on shipping, um, and they've got all the Adafruit stock imported for the UK. Also in here, I've got an Adafruit amplifier board, which is that one, and an Adafruit power boost board which will take in a LiPo, which is here. It's also a charger as well, so it means you can plug it in, to plug it in if, it, if power gets to be a problem. And that's the LiPo. The Pi itself has got a Wi-Fi dongle, which is that white thing there, um, which enables me to, to communicate with it without having to plug it into a monitor and that kind of thing. Um, it's a bit of a rat's nest inside, 
but I'm actually quite proud of the wiring job because everything was hand soldered there's no plug in and play on it and that is my Pi music box thanks for watching